Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Ludic Graphics. I, this is my fourth tutorial, and if you don't, haven't seen the other three already, please do that. I bet you can find them under more from Ludic Graphics under the description. Okay, so this is what we'll be making today. It's blood layers with chunks of dried up blood in them. Okay, let's get started. New um, with 1200, height 800, resolution 72, blah blah blah. Okay. First off, make the background black. Make a new layer. Make the color a dark red around there. Okay, so we're gonna grab the blood brushes. If you have any. If you don't, you can search for blood brushes and blood and splatter brushes on uh, Google. I'm sure you'll find over 10,000 hits. But I'm gonna use Blood and Ink Brush Set 1 by Hit to Carry 147. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a. well, a splatter. And then we're gonna click Ctrl T, make sure you're on the new layer. Then we're gonna right click and click warp. And then we're just gonna warp it up so it looks like an eye. This is the top part of the L that I'm gonna make for Ludic. Remember that this is customizable. It will look different every time, probably, if you haven't recorded it or anything like that. We're gonna name this layer L1. Make a new layer, name that L2. You don't have to, but it will be easier to keep track of them. Use another brush. That one looks good. Control T, warp. I mean, yeah, warp. Okay, that's the L. Now we can merge these layers together, so you just have one L layer. Move tool, put this back here. Now we're creating a new layer, name this U1. Grab your brushes. I would recommend those that looks like blood and not like some smeared shit. Smeared blood. This one looks good. Okay. Control, warp. Make a new layer that named. Name it. Where do you name it? Oh well. Double click on the layer 1. U2. U2. You might have to customize some of the customized blood brushes by clicking F5 to get out the brush menu. Then if you wanna make it go like that, you use this one. <coughs> if you want it outspaced more, you go here. And there's shape dynamics and other dynamics and dual brushes, I'm not sure what that is. I've never tried it. And then it's scattering, if you want them placed out like that. But we're just gonna skip those, because we want it that way. There we go. And then click Control T and warp. Okay, um... Please ignore the background sound if you can hear it. The TV is on. Um. Make a new layer, name it U3. What the fuck? 
weiter zu. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that we're already over five minutes on this tutorial, so I'm just gonna wrap it up and just make one more letter. That didn't look good. You know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna make the third letter. You know the basics, and yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do the parts of chunky blood. Merge all the layers together, control E, and then go to bevel and emboss. Um, okay. The basics of it is to put chisel hard, and then put death on how much you want it. If you want it more softer, like it's just been there for like an hour or so, so you can put it pretty high. And size doesn't really matter if it's 5 or 250. You can put the directions, up or down, and the angle. In the highlight mode, put this to pink and the shadow mode to dark, 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 red. You can also change the glass contour if you want it dark or pink. And of course if you want to drop shadow, oh right, um, the drop shadow. Put the angle to 90, put that to 100% and blend mode is normal. Put this to a black red. Distance at there. Put the opacity down for as much as you want it. Maybe make the size a little bigger so it kind of blurred out. Contour you can change if you want. Okay, that's some fine blood. Now we're just gonna save it as a JPEG. Okay, and that's the end of this tutorial. Please comment what you think, and please give me a link to whatever you did with it. I'd love to see. Okay, bye.